I've been employed in the industry for a number of years, but um, without the official qualification route. Uh, I took a mechanical apprenticeship and during the mechanical apprenticeship, we did electrical and mechanical. Um, but all of my apprenticeship was based around the mechanical side of it. So I um, decided to put myself through the experience worker route after speaking to the, the Electrical Academy and saying where I was at. And this was the, the, the best route for me, really, with the experience that I've got. So the initial discussions around what qualifications I did have, then they s discuss with you a bit of a questionnaire, take you through uh, what, what you would be expected to know to do it and what you're currently doing in the industry. So you need to be able to cover a wide range of different applications in order to pass the final exam. So you, you go through the interview process to ensure that you are working in the industry and that you're not wasting your time, really. So it's a very good way of um, you not paying out the full price before uh, and then not being able to complete it because you don't meet the criteria. I, I found it really easy. So it's effectively just taking photos of your work as you go along, proving that it's you doing it. So making sure that you've got the correct PPE and everything like that on while you're doing it, as you would on site. Um, and all of that is uploaded into the portfolio. And for me, it worked around the fact that I'm still employed. I had their permission before I started. I checked with them, made sure that they were okay with it. I do electrical work for them here. So it would be far better for them to have that um, qualification for me here. Um, I don't plan on leaving this company. It's just my um, my extra, extra cash, really. Um, I, I have started up on my own, but I work alongside my employer here. Uh, if I'm not required here because we've got quiet spells, I can go off on my own. So it works very well like that. But they supported me 100 percent through it. Um, they were even in some of the pictures that were taken. Um, there's a lot of documentation that has to be handed over um, and you have to be shown to be handing that material over to the correct person. The correct person was my employer. So uh, there's a lot of photos of them in it um, and they, they had no problems with it at all. I've completely finished my portfolio. I did take the full year to do it, um, mainly because I had to work around what jobs were available. So I had probably, there's a there's a graph that you get that tells you how far along you are. I was probably at 70% by about three, four months in. But then it's getting all the last little bits that you need that are not um, as common in the industry that you'll need to demonstrate that you can still do. So it's just, it's, it's, it really does depend on the sort of work you do. I do primarily industrial for um, the company I work for, and I do domestic for the company that's my company. So it gives me a broad range of stuff, but there's, there's still bits in the middle that I had to wait for them to come up, really. So it, it, it really does depend on you and how much time you can commit to it. If, if you're out with a, an employer and doing electrical all the time, then I'm sure you'd complete it a lot, lot quicker. I, I took my time. I knew I had a year to do it. So I just used that year. And yeah, at, at the end, it, it all worked out quite well. My, my next step really is to book the AM2E. Um, obviously, having done the MVQ, the AM2E is just, just practical around that. Um, as far as I'm concerned, if you can pass the MVQ, you can do the AM2E. It's just waiting for me now to get a nice time slot where I can book that in and, and do it effectively. Uh, there's, as far as I'm aware, there's no other interviews for it. It's just book it and, and go with it, really. So for me, it's purely employability. So I'm employed in this company here, but if I was to go to another company, uh, my qualifications would be would, would nothing. I didn't have anything to take with me. I have experience and I can tell people that I can do it, um, but they're going to take a bit of a gamble on on it. Whereas if you've got that gold card and you've got those AM2 and the MVQ, you, you can demonstrate that you're able to do the job prior to them taking you on, really. Uh, so for me, it was it was down to the employability of it or uh, as well as the MVQ in order to register with NAPIT, which I've now done. Um, so it's helped helped me on the route to that. They wouldn't take me on without it now. They would have um, let, let, They would have asked me to leave the scheme if I hadn't have done it definitely do it. It, it it's just it's got no downsides to it at all it's totally within your own time you can you can pick it up you can put it down um you don't have to commit to it uh, in in a day you just you just do it as you do in your day your normal day having never sat a regular mvq through this experience all i can say is that if you've got those skills and you can pass that initial skill set exam there is nothing to lose from it 